Good morning again everyone, this is me, Sir Alan. And for today's lesson, we have Plotting Irrational Number on a Number Line. So during our last discussion guys, so nakakompute na tayo ng square root ng mga irrational numbers. So, yung ginawa natin doon, sinanap natin kung saan sa pagitan ng dalawang perfect square number. Kasi ganun yung estimation guys, no? So, gagawin natin ngayon is ipaplot naman natin yung ating irrational number doon sa number line. So, let's go over examples 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, example number 1. So, since square root of 3, so nasa pagitan siya ng dalawang perfect square, na 1 and 4, no? Nandito siya sa 1 and 4. 1 and 4. And our roots for, no, for 1 is 1. And roots natin dun sa 4 is 2, right? So therefore, yung square root of 3 natin lies between number 1 and 2. So therefore, using our number line, so ipa-plot lang natin siya, guys. So therefore, this is 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2 Okay, so through computation of our square root of 3 So, gagawin natin para mas mabilis Gagawin tayo ng scientific calculator So, therefore Square root of 3 is 1.73205089 So, consider lang natin yung hundreds So, dalawang decimal place kayo So, 1.73 So, therefore, 1.73 guys Lies somewhere between 1 and 2, no? Kasi 1.73. So, lagpas siya ng 1, pero di siya umabot ng 2. Okay? So, therefore, this will be our square root of 3. Okay? So, ganun na po siya madali, guys. How about square root of 21? So, gawa lang ako ng linya dito. Square root of 21 lies between in the middle of two perfect squares of 16 and 25. So, 21. It's in the middle of 16 and 25. The roots of 16 is 4, while the roots of 25 is 5. So, therefore, our square root of 21 lies between 4 and 5. So, therefore, this will be 3, 4, 5, 6. Andito na yung sagot natin sa pagitan ng 4 and 5. So, para mas mabilis, gagamit tayo ng scientific calculator. So, this is square root of 21 will be 4.582575695. Okay, so therefore, somewhere in the middle, somewhere, nandito siya sa pagitan ng 4 and 5. Uh, this area. This will be our square root of 21. Okay? Let's try example number 3. Square root of 87. So, square root of 87, guys, is in the middle of two perfect squares, which are 81 and... 100. So, nasa pagitan siya ng no? 81 and 100. 87, no? So, therefore, the roots of 81 is 9. And the roots of 100 is 10. So, square root of 87 natin is nasa pagitan ng 9 and 10. So, we will try this. Okay. So, using our calculator, let's just press square root of 87 square root of 87. So, marunong naman, marunong naman tayo guys na mag-estimate. No? So, yun din yung pwedeng gawin natin pag wala tayong calculator. So, para mas mabilis lang ngayon, since we have our scientific calculator, huwag na natin pahirapan yung sarili natin. So, therefore, square root of 87 is 9.32 7379053 So, Hindi siya, uma, hindi siya abot sa pagitan mismo ng 9 and 10. Okay, so therefore, 
somewhere in the before the middle of 9 and 10. So this is square root of 87. Ganun na siya kadali guys. Wala na, di na siya mahirap. Okay? So therefore, let's go over our last example, number 4. Our last example, square root of 13. So square root of 13 lies in the two perfect squares between 9, 9 and this is 16. And dito siya sa pagitan ng perfect square na 9 and 16. So the roots of 9 is 3. And the roots of 16 is 4. So yung square root of 13 natin, nasa pagitan ng 3 and 4. So therefore, go tayo number 9. This is 2, 3, 4. Okay, so para mag-plot natin, we'll just press square root of 13 kung meron tayong scientific calculator. Pero kung wala naman, so gawin natin kung paano mag-estimate at mag-compute ng roots, na? No? Okay, so therefore, square roots of 13 is 3.605551275 Okay, so lagpa siya sa pagitan mismo ng 4 and 3. So therefore, yes sir guys, this is square root of 13. Okay, sobrang dali lang siya. Okay, that is all for today guys. I hope you understand our lesson. And thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Alano TV official. And see you soon for more videos. Hey mom, I know we're getting old.